Okay, this is a method I created in order to, a way to how to check prime numbers to see if uh, prime numbers are prime or to see if a number is prime. It's easier than saying, you know, divide by three, divide by two, divide by five, and divide by all the prime numbers just to check and to see if it's prime. Well, this method is a little bit uh, different, but it can it can be a long process too, but it's still a different way. It's unique, so I, I like the fact that it's unique. So let me explain how to do it. All right, you see these numbers, three, five, seven, and 11. Those are their prime numbers. Okay, first of all, in order to check your prime numbers, you got a group or section, and that's three. I'm gonna give you an example. For an example, three. If you wanna find the prime numbers, a certain amount of prime numbers, you take the number three, the, the first one, and you multi you square it, which is nine. So now you have three and nine. So what do you do after that? Then after you find the three and then you square it, which then you find the uh, other odd numbers in between or the other numbers that are odd in between this number and multiply. Them. So you would do three times five times seven times nine. Okay. Now this equate this number right here, or these yeah these numbers multiplied, will give you all the prime will check all the prime numbers between uh, nine through twenty three, or should I say eleven? Eleven through twenty three. It'll check all those prime prime numbers just by these numbers right here. And how does that work? Well, basically what you would do is you would take this right here and you can divide it between by 11 or 13 or 15 or 17, whichever one you choose. But we're going to start off with 11 so we can show how this works. Take the, this and divide it by 11 through 13 to check to see if they're prime, okay? So that's what we do. 3 times 5 times 7 times 9 equals 9, 4, 5. Okay? So to check to see if any of these numbers, 11 through 23, are prime, we can take them and put them in here and divide. For an example, like this. And if the number comes out to be a decimal point, then this number is prime. But if it come out to be comes out to be a whole number, like um, a whole number would be five, or seven, or nine, or ten. If it comes out to be one of those, then it's not prime. But if it comes out to be something like this, two point three three or three point one or whatever, anything with a decimal, then it is prime. So let's try it. Nine divided by <coughs> 945 divided by 11 equals 85.9. So therefore, this is a prime number. Okay, let's check it again. Let's try 13. Divide by 13 is 7.2 or 72. 72.6. So it is a prime number because it comes out to be a decimal. Let's check 15. 15 comes out to be 63. So therefore, this number is not prime because it comes out to be a whole number with no decimals. Let's try 17. 17 comes out to be 17. Do you get my point? See how it works? 19 is 49.7. You see how it works? But it's only 11 through 23. Once you get to 25, and the reason why this is is because to find the larger prime numbers, <clears throat> more larger than these, you have to take, instead of doing 3 times 3, like you did here, three 
times 3, you do 3 times 5 now. And 3 times 5 is 15. Okay. So now what do you do? You multiply all 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15. Alright, and you can divide by any prime number, and this will give you all the prime numbers between between um, was it 17 through I believe uh, 40, I think 49. The reason why is because to find out how high it's going to go you take the next prime number after the number you multiplied and you square it so therefore this will take us all the way to 49 and show us all the prime numbers from 17 to 49 because after 15 is 17 and then to 49 because we take the number that we that was next the next prime number line and we square it therefore it goes all the way to 15 all to 49 actually a little less than that is 47 and then this one was 23 because we took the 3 times 3, which got us 9. And we took that and just squared it, and it takes us all the way to 23. Because you, it was 25 when you squared it, but it won't give you the correct answer for the prime number if it's 25. So you got to go down just once. So that's how you do it. So you take this number, 3 times 5 times 7 times 9 times 11 times 13 times 15 and you take that and divide it by 17 to see if it's prime and you come out to be a long decimal number 11 11 9 2 3 6 point 7 you see that point the point says that this is, this, this is a prime number let's try another number like uh, since we can go all the way to 47 let's do uh, 33 okay see if 33 is prime come up to be 6 1 4 2 5 nope it isn't prime because it comes out to be a whole number so no let's try 37 4 5 Seven, eight, four, point. That's a point four. So this is prime because it comes up to be a decimal number. Do you see how fast and easy it is to check these prime numbers, uh, multiple prime numbers one at a time because of this little method? Now, if I wanted to to go higher than forty-seven or higher than uh, seventeen or higher than uh, 47 here, what would I do? I would take the 3 times 7. Okay, so it would be 3 times 7 all the way to 21. Okay, so it would be 3 times 5 times 7 times 9 times 11 times 13 times 15 times 17 times 19 times 21 divided by and, and it'll give us all the prime numbers through 23 through and how we find out what it's, it's going to give us through you take the 11 and you square it which is 11 times 11 which gives us 121 so this uh, this equation will check all the prime numbers between 11, I mean through 23 to um, 1 to 1. So that's a lot of prime numbers that this equation will check now. So if we took this and put it in the calculator and took all those numbers between there and there, it would tell us if they're prime or not. And if the higher you want to go, you keep doing it. Instead of doing 11, you do 13. So, or, or 33, 3 times 33. So you go 3 
all the way to 33 and you multiply all those odd numbers together all the way to 33 and that'll give you and that'll check all the prime numbers between 35 through and you square that to give you the last number so 13 times 13 is 169 it'll check all those prime numbers for you so you see how it increases because of what we're doing here so this is a method I created that you can find and check prime numbers it can actually help you to find prime numbers too because if you don't know you can find the next prime just by checking to see if it is prime or not real quick and simply so um, that's the way you can do this way and uh, that's all I was going to show you guys I hope you enjoy it and I hope it helps you